continue to bleach the knots and also even after making adjustments the cap was just too big for my head so i'm gonna show you how i went ahead to um remake it and customize it stay tuned so to begin i went ahead to um bleach the knots by using the Clairoy BW2 bleaching powder and um, you can either use a 30, 20 or 40 volume developer but I only had these two and I went ahead to use the 30 volume developer because I wanted my knots to bleach pretty fast so I just opened the bag and poured a couple of scoops and I added my developer and um I went ahead to stir it until all the knots were gone. You don't want it to you don't want the um mixture to be too loose because it's gonna run through the hair and you don't want it to be too too thick. You just want it like a nice consistency. So that's what I did. So after getting the bleaching powder to the consistency that I wanted, I just went ahead to um, spread it all over the frontal just so it can begin to um, process. And um, you want to make sure you get it all over from side to side, top to bottom. Try not to get it on the hair. <laughs> so that's why it's important to do this step first before making your wig. And I just let it sit for about 15 minutes and then I rinsed it out. So after the 15 minutes, I went ahead to rinse it and then I shampooed it with my neutralizing shampoo first and then I went ahead to shampoo with my uh, regular shampoo but I did not condition it just yet because I'm going to show you the next step that I did. And I also washed the hair itself, not just the front, I washed the whole um, hair as well. So here's the next step I was telling you about tinting the lace, meaning you just want to get it as close to your skin tone as possible if it's too light. And normally I use the Adore Honey Brown dye, but I couldn't find it so I just took the alternate route by boiling two tea bags, two Lipton tea bags, and I just let the frontal sit in the water for five minutes. And afterwards, I rinsed it out and conditioned the hair. After, so after tinting the lace, I went ahead to pluck the frontal and, you know, just to adjust the hairline, customize a little more to the way that I like it. It came slightly pre-plucked, but I just needed it a little bit more plucked but um guys yeah don't be afraid to pluck your frontal so yes i went ahead to pluck 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 and afterwards i did my part i went with the side part this time so i um set my hair and i just let it dry So once the hair was dried, I went ahead to sew down my frontal. You want to make sure that the base of your frontal is secured. And to do that, you want to sew the, um, put the needle through the weft of the frontal and the cap. Sew it through a couple of times just to secure it before you move along um, on the top of the frontal. So I'm going to, you know, show you again.
you just want to take the needle make sure it's going through the base of the frontal and the cap as well it was a little struggle because i had already um remember i said i made the wig previously so i had already did the underneath i had already sewn the under track and i'm going to show you later how i did that But you just want to put it through and wrap I usually wrap it about two two times um and then you go ahead and pull the uh, thread through Once you're done, your frontal should look like this. Nice and secured, stitched very well from end to end. So now I'm gonna show you how I did the under track that I was telling you about. And by doing that, you basically, you just flip your cap inside out and then you um, measure the the track that you're going to sew from the end of the frontal where you were sewing before to the other end of the frontal you can also do this step first but you just need to know your um frontal placement before doing that because you don't want it to um sit in the spot where your frontal is going to be sewn so i just did the frontal first and then i went ahead to sew my under track just to know where to stop So basically doing this step or by doing this step um, if you ever want to like put your hair up in a ponytail and you know since this is not a full lace wig and you're custom I'm customizing it um, basically you know it's this step is gonna help you to be able to put your hair in a ponytail without worrying about the track showing or the cap itself so you'll see how it comes out and um, once I'm finished doing this step So once I finished sewing my under track, I went ahead to flip my cap back over and this is the result so far before I sewed the rest of my tracks onto the hair. Next I just went ahead to, you know, sew the tracks from start to finish until I reached the top. Okay guys, so I did what's called the fold over method. Basically, you don't have to cut your track when you get to, to each end, you just fold it over and it saves you time. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. So to begin, you have to obviously fold your track over, your continuing track over, and you wanna take your needle and put it through the hair. You're not sewing through the weft, you're actually sewing through the hair itself. I usually, you know, wrap it around about two times, going overhanded, and then two times going underhanded the opposite way. So again, you want to go through the hair, wrap it pull just to make sure that it's secured and then you want to go um, underneath and do the same thing and you're going through the hair as well try not to go too far up <laughs> on the lace you just want to get as close to the hair as as close to the um the width of the hair as possible
So once you have the beginning part of your track um, secured, you can just continue sewing along to the other side. And don't mind my, you know, don't mind my spacing. <laughs> uh, I did do a little closer. But you just, you know, keep sewing until you get to the top. Okay, so again, remember I did say I made the wig first before um, taking it apart. And where the pink and black clips are holding the hair, that's actually the very last track that I uh, sewed to marry into the frontal. I'm going to show you in the next step. But had I not done that, I would have kept sewing as usual and, um, you know, until I got to the top and that would have been the last. But I ended up sewing that one first before I actually continued. So where you see me sewing right now, this was the last track because I only used two bundles. So I wanted to make sure I had enough, you know, enough hair and I spaced it out about about one finger spacing about an inch so I'm gonna show you after this step Alright guys, so this is the last step I was telling you about, um, mirroring that track into the front hole. And I basically did that by making sure the track sat as close to the front hole as possible. You don't want to leave any space. So you want to, um, you're actually going to sew, put the needle through the weft of the hair and the front hole together. So when you put it through, it should be coming out through the front hole because like I said you're marrying it so you don't want to leave any spacings at all whatsoever and make sure your stitching is secured that is the key make sure your stitching is secured so you're just going to go you're basically going from one end to the other just like we did the frontal Once you get to the end, you want to cut the excess lace. I'm I'm sorry, the excess track, and then um, just uh, sew it down and cut the thread when you're done. After you finish cutting your thread, you just go ahead and style your hair. And I just threw some beautiful wand curls in there for a little va va boom, <laughs> a little razzle dazzle. But um, yeah, you can style it however you want. So this was how it came out, and I love it.
So after I finished curling the hair, I went ahead to try it on and um, I was going out so I did my makeup and everything came together. So yeah guys, if you liked how I did this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave comments down below. Also subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.